What's going on, fam? Um, yeah, today I'm going to be covering why you should be looking at augmented reality for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and of course, like the rest of Q4. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. Uh, actually, before I start, I just want to specify you know, this is augmented reality experiences and augmented reality for social platforms. So this would work better and it's easier to leverage for e-commerce brands, uh, people doing paid advertising with Instagram, with Facebook, and also anything when you're you're very heavily user generated based. So if, if that's your sort of clientele, then this is perfect for you. But yeah, let's jump into it. So of course we all know Black Friday is a super competitive time. You know, it's a shopping marathon uh, where essentially brands are all competing. Um, you know, offering high discount rates, all sorts of incentives, and no Black Friday, Black Friday. You know, any sort of way of establishing a uh, sort of difference of, the, of positioning is really what benefits people during this period. Of course, you know, having a big loyal fan base, which you've built over the year, is obviously the biggest thing that everyone leverages. And if you're not doing that, then you definitely should be. But really, you know, it's about standing out and it's about grabbing attention because essentially everyone has the same sort of messaging. So this is why augmented reality can be such an uh, amazing tool for Black Friday, sorry, my screen just turned off for a second. Let me, there we go, it's back. Um, so yeah, we just had a hurricane here recently. So there's all sorts of power problems, and internet problems. So uh, yeah, that will explain what's happening with the technology. So AR benefits Black Friday, Cyber Monday. So it changes the shopping landscape by giving consumers an immersive experience that allows them to view products from all angles and colors. So with augmented reality, the best known use case of it is essentially uh, visualization of a product in 3D within your, you know, in front of you or on you, or, you know, somehow using your device to see the products in front of you. Um, and that's, you know, one of the biggest things and the biggest ways that people use augmented reality, but it's not necessarily the only one, but that's really the one that we're sort of focusing on for here. And that's why I prerequisite when we, when we first started by saying, this is for those sort of industries, because it just tends to be easier for them to leverage with physical products, but it doesn't necessarily negate anyone who's in the, you know, B2B SaaS service sphere at all. So definitely still pay attention, but it's just easier when you're selling this as a option for your clients of them to grasp the concept when it's something physical. So yeah, we'll jump, we'll jump into that a lot more, but essentially this technology creates a more prefer, uh, personal connection with customers as they're able to interact uh, with product portfolio by, by per, they make a purchase. So it's the most, up to date, the most te technological advanced way of assessing a product without actually being in the store or physically being there. There's no other way that you can, you know, try lipstick on uh, with a cosmetic brand or try clothing on or try apparel or hats or fashion without actually physically being there. And this really offers a, a very uh, explosive way of doing that through social media platforms such as Meta, so, you know, Facebook, Instagram. Obviously, TikTok is now doing AR. Uh, Pinterest, Google have it, and of course, not forgetting Snapchat as well. So with augmented reality, sellers can increase customer engagement, which leads to increased conversion rates. So this is quite self-explanatory really. And I've seen a very similar sort of result to this with the AR ads that I've been running for the people we've been working with. It just tends to, you know, as long as the, the AR concept is aligned with what you want the customer to experience and, you know, you understand the buyer journey, it can have a massively positive effect on your conversion rate because people are, you know, seeing this in the most realistic way possible. If it's a physical product and they're viewing it, if they're trying it on, if they're seeing it within their space, and it really leads to like better purchase decisions at the end of the day. So, you know, that leads to less buyer's remorse, less customer service issues, less returns at the end of the day. So, you know, happy customers. And also you can build retention from that too. So sellers can also use technology to drive loyalty amongst their consumers by offering exclusive deals and experiences through AR. So this is something that I call post-product or post-purchase um, AR, where essentially you can offer people a unique experience with the actual physical product that they have. So everything we've been talking up to now is essentially based on them seeing it within their Facebook feed, within their Instagram feed, on your website, all the things before they actually make, may have made that purchase decision. That's everything we've been talking about. But from, you know, from what we're talking about here, this is once they've received the product, you can have something that tracks the product, some sort of logo on it, some sort of detailed design and gives them a unique experience to do with 
maintaining the product, best use of it, you know, manuals, some sort of gamified aspect to it to give them a little bit more value off their purchase, or just a way of incentivizing people to learn a bit more about the product, learn about your other products, offer them discounts. You know, it's, it's really like unlimited the amount of things you can do with this. So the power of visual uh, marketing, it's no surprise that uh, visuality in e-commerce is so important these days. After all, we live in times where visual attention spans very short. Of course, people just flicking on their feed most of the time, not even knowing what they're doing, you know, why, why they're there in the first place. It's really just a, a distraction, or just a way of giving someone something to do outside of, you know, when they're eating lunch or, you know, if they're just sort of bored or something. But an eye-pleasing digital showcase of uh, and product visuals are significant parts of online shopping. So that's where people are, their attention is stopped and that's where something brings them in and something really immerses them into uh, your ad, essentially learning about your brand. Apologies about background noise here. But that's, you know, that's where the power of uh, AR comes in as well because AR delivers twice the level of visual attention compared to their non-AR equivalent, leading to improved memories and more powerful responses from consumers. So there's a study I talk about from Zappa where it, Detail, it looked into the detail of a consumer's psychology behind augmented reality, and it found that memory encoding of augmented reality was 70% higher than it was for non-AR equivalent creative. And really what that means is that people are remembering your brand. They're spending a lot more time in a much more immersive and personal authority building way, and they're remembering you over everybody else. So, you know, that's really staying with them. That the emotional attachment or the engagement they had with the uh, the AR ad uh, and the cognitive you know, element of it, them interacting with it, though, those things will build this very strong picture in their minds of how, you know, who you are, like what your brand's about, how it can help them, your mission, all these sorts of things. These are all objectives you can use within the AR other than just, you know, showing something uh, in front of them. And they all lead to, you know, much bigger brand recall, favorability, all these things, you know, meta case studies there's hundreds of them spark uh spark ar which is their platform snapchat TikTok. you know they've all got huge amounts of case studies to show you augmented reality immersive experiences or immersive marketing as i call it is such a powerful way of building authority with the uh, consumer off the bat you know without much uh you know retargeting and all these sorts of things it's something you can just do straight from the off uh, so this Black Friday, brands can step up their game with the help of AR and stand up out amongst their rivals, especially when they're trying to appeal to younger generations. So, of course, the AR adoption that I talk about in a lot of my other content you may have seen, you know, we've reached above a billion users this year. It was actually projected to be just around a billion before the end of the year, but we're already there. Um, so it's probably predicted to be a lot more than that. So maybe a billion and a half or something like that. A lot of that makeup is actually yeah, the younger generation like Gen Z, millennials, etc. Um, and of course, a lot of people have the right idea about AR and how it's going to be bigger because as we, you know, those, that generation get older, they're used to these sort of technologies and everything becomes a lot more adaptable, right? But there's definite ways that you can make it much more relevant for the older generation and make everything very simple and make it very uh, straightforward so that, you know, it lowers the barriers to essentially them to make a biased decision. So the power of low returns. So according to SNAP in a 2020 consumer AR research uh, census they've done, returns are a $550 billion problem and AR can help fix that. Apologies. So AR guided purchases led to a 25% decrease in returns. So that's absolutely huge. And there's a lot of ways that this is done, but essentially what you're doing and from what I sort of described before is you're allowing people to have the most realistic experience with your brand, whether it's a physical one or whether it's engagement related or something along those lines and more interactive. It leads to them trusting you a lot more and your um, brand just being a lot more uh, you know, on top of their mind when they go to make a purchase decision. And all of these things all impact how people feel about the purchase once they bought it and, and how it helps lower, uh, lower buyer's remorse. And of course, during Black Friday, this is a huge issue because, you know, a lot of people come into Black Friday and Q4 with huge amounts of stock that they're thinking they're just going to, you know, they're going to clear through. And they end up with all this surplus stock that you need to then, you know, try and sell in the new year, all sorts of things. But with 25% decrease in returns, you could just think about all of that surplus stock you won't have anymore and the amount of extra sales you have to get from this. So 
Over half of people want to use AI technology to assess products, allowing for a risk-free try-before-you-buy experience. And then three in four consumers say they're willing to pay more for a product that promises the total transparency that AI can provide. So when you have this AR experience for people, they can completely trust in that the product they're going to get is going to be the one they see. When you're seeing a, a 2D image, it can't necessarily be 100%. Of course, we all rely on people to be honest about what the product looks like and so forth. But you know, there's just another level to it when you're seeing it in 3D in front of your face or interacting with it. You know, that, that level of trust is uh, increased. And of course, there's a really, really big impact of um, you know, social proof and using influencers for AR marketing. It's essentially been the thing that's carried it throughout these you know, early years of AR and social. And I have a really awesome case study uh, with a um, AR production service in Singapore who created a Squid Game related AR. So last year when Squid Game was a really big thing, was that this year? No, I think it was last year. Um, he created this AR experience, which reached 500 million people organically on Instagram and on Facebook. So the power of the virality of augmented reality can carry your uh, content across so many people, you know, without you having to even start paying for paid ads. So just imagine how much you would have to pay to reach that many people. And I'm not saying all of those 500 million people are all ready to buy with their wallets out. Of course not. But you know, that sort of organic reach power that you have, along with all these other things we're talking about, you can really see if as long as you're creating something that has this viral effect, that has this ability for people to get inside and share it with their family and friends and things like that, you know, you can really be laughing at the end of the day. So 90% people are 90% more likely to use AR to connect with others. And they're also a lot more likely to share it with friends and family. So by including AR solutions in your product marketing strategy, you can reach larger audiences. So this can be done via influencer marketing, creating face filters, AR lenses, all these sorts of things, um, using micro influencers, using macro influencers, social proof with family and friends, all sorts of things like that. There's really no limit to creativity when it comes to social media. So if you can manage to come up with a viral Black Friday campaign, your brand will definitely stand out during this highly competitive season. So here's a couple of examples of pre um, some Black Friday examples from you know uh, other Black Fridays that have, have just been. So Boohoo did uh, Hack Friday, and this is a campaign where it depicts a dystopian version of the Black Friday promotions, and it introduced their digital hacker called Robin. Um, he infiltrated the world by, of fashion by offering unexpected discounts for all consumers. So the way this worked was. You know, it really leveraged the um, metaverse hype that was sort of going around like late last year. And it uh, really pulled a lot of the different audiences in and really gave them some a slightly different way of interacting with the brand, which just led to, you know, really huge, uh, amazing success for them. So their chief executive said, this is an exciting time for Boohoo Man. I'm not sure I'm saying that right. But we are able to, I've never actually heard anyone else say this name, so maybe it's, it's, it's a little, di little different, but we're able to give customers the opportunity to scan our posters and billboards around the world to receive special offers, experience it, uh, our virtual reality. So we're proud to be one of the first uh, to launch an interactive digital experience on this scale. So that's something that people were doing with their, you know, their physical billboards and their offers and things around in the physical space. But of course, this can be just as powerful in the digital realm. Like if you had something, um, you know, an actual AR ad that pulled people in and, and gave them this experience within the Facebook ad feed or the Instagram ad feed, you know, it could even have even bigger effect. Uh, Goat Black Friday. So this was pretty cool. So they had an AR experience to encourage users to explore 125 destinations across the globe with over a thousand prizes on offer. So this was really similar to sort of Pokemon Go's technology of the location-based AR, where it would use GPS essentially to pull people to a certain location. And within that location, which is obviously a store, <laughs> one of their stores, it would have a contest that people would enter and you know, get involved with, a chance to win uh, products. So they reimagined their Black Friday sneaker contest in augmented reality to increase their chances to win users visited physical points of interest identified in the app. So Fight Club New York, uh, Sneaker Street in, in, in Hong Kong. And it activated the three 3D AR uh, interactive objects and shared them to social media. So almost 2 million people participated in this contest globally. 
Um, and of course, there's a lot of more information on this, but really what it led to was a massive increase in the amount of people getting involved in this and they would just get be getting sales and getting foot traffic and all these sort of things off the back of that. So even if the folk, the main focus of it isn't to, you know, directly sell someone something, you can still build such a huge amount of interest around what we're doing you know, with augmented reality. And that can be a really powerful thing for your brand this, this Black Friday. So here are my closing remarks on AR uh, for Black Friday. So AR will help uh, smarter shopping decisions. Screen's turned off again. Uh, since the pandemic has accelerated digital shopping trend by five years, augmented reality is the next biggest way to uh, transform consumers' digital shopping experience. And as I said, people are using it more. The adoption curve is, is you know, growing more and more people are using this. It's projected to be something like two to three billion people by you know, 2025 or something like that. And people are expecting much more immersive experiences when they come to you know, uh, connecting with brands now. So with AR, consumers can virtually preview try on products without actually stepping into, you know, out of their homes. Brands such as Ikea, Home Depot, Adidas, Sephora, Gucci, they've already leveraged the power of AR and obtained better return on ad spend or return on investment and sales, uh, sales results. And in fact, a, a survey by uh, Shopify revealed that interactions with products having an AR experience within the store led to a 94% increase in uh, conversion rates. Because especially if it's being in use in conjunction with an augmented reality experience they're seeing first, you know, in the social platforms, whether it's paid or organic, and then it's leading to a landing page where there's a 3D and AR experience there, that congruency is going to lead to a lot more, you know, basically a doubling down of everything we've been talking about. And of course, with Shopify, uh, you know, explaining about how AR works on their platform, you know, 94% increase in conversion rates. That's pretty insane. You know, being able to actually see the product and, you know, play with it, like obviously not grabbing it with hands, but you, you probably could do that. But, you know, being able to actually see and really like judge it uh, in a much more realistic way is just leading to, you know, much more uh, quicker decision making and, and less people bouncing from the page, essentially. So during the Cyber Monday shop uh, shopping sale, brands can utilize AR on their platform and improve customer engagement, brand experience, and product management cycle for, of brands. So this could be something used in the ad feed. It can be used organically. It could pull people out of cold audiences onto your site. Even the site, you can use 3D, you can use AR to help convert people. And then you can even have another level where you're using AR to give people a little bit more value out of their product, connect with them a bit deeper, build retention, loyalty with them, and you know lower customer service concerns. And obviously all the stockpile of uh, stuff you have left over at the end of Black Friday can decrease all of that. So yeah, I strongly urge you to look at um, AR for this Black Friday, you know, look within your industry, look at what people have already been doing, even look within people, you know, what people have already done within the audiences that you, you tend to market with or market to, and, you know, start to gain a couple of, you know, ideas. And if you have any sort of questions or you're sort of struggling to come up with a concept of, of how to use this, then feel free to reach out. But my last parting bit of advice would be try and re-envision what's working already and try and make it as immersive as possible, interactive as possible, and you know, envision that into an augmented reality uh, creative. So yeah, cheers for listening, everyone. Feel free to reach out. Um, I'll leave my details and things down below. And our website is augmentedhype.com. If you want to learn any more, there's tons of freebies on there if you want to go and you know, start getting the ball rolling a little bit, get some ideas going. But yeah, I really appreciate you guys' time. Um, have an awesome week and uh, weekend. So you live.